John, today you, um, you announced the rapid response team for um, foot and mouth disease. What is this team going to contribute to the biosecurity problem in South Africa? Well, the team needs to, to deal with a rapid response to outbreaks of foot and mouth disease. What you want to do when you have an outbreak of foot and mouth is to get onto it as quickly as possible, to isolate it and to prevent the spread. It's much easier dealing with a small fire than dealing with a runaway felt fire. So the idea is that the task team will focus on immediately getting on top of it, setting up a jock, bringing the farmers in the local area together around a protocol about how you're going to stop the spread of it before it goes further. This is also going to be important because in terms of improving biosecurity in the country, our export markets want to know what are our plans for when things like foot and mouth uh, break out. And we, I think if we're able to show them that we have a clear plan, we've got a protocol in place, it will certainly make their minds a lot easier around the import of, of beef and other products into their countries. What we don't want to see is them stopping the import of these animals because of the outbreak of foot and mouth. We want to demonstrate to the world that we're taking this seriously, we have a plan to deal with it, and it's not something that's ever going to be out of control in South Africa. Um, just a, a quick follow-up question. With regards to biosecurity, I believe on Thursday you have a meeting with Onerste Poort. Um, I know that there has been complaints today at, at the Congress. Um, what will you be talking with? So I want to speak to them about you know, what their core mandate is and what the obstacles are to them achieving that. They are leaving many of farmers in the lurch. We look at African horse sickness, for example. There is a legislative requirement that horses are vaccinated. There are no vaccines available, or there's a shortage of them. Why is that the case? Why are we importing foot and mouth vaccines from Botswana when we should be on the cutting edge of manufacturing them here in South Africa? These are the questions we want to know. I would like to understand from them what plan they have in place to ensure there is sufficient vaccines and medicines for all the potential outbreaks that we have in South Africa so that when we are in a crisis situation, we're not running around begging, borrowing vaccines from other countries, that we have a sufficient supply. I also fundamentally believe that if we can get OVP up and running properly, we could then become a net exporter of vaccines to the rest of the continent as well. They should be getting cutting-edge, well-produced, well-priced vaccines from South Africa. And then uh, what that'll do is help make OBP even more profitable uh, for future growth.